All righty. Good morning. How you doing, bud? Do what? You're already out of your chair? Okay. You were first? Well, hey, 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 Mimsy. Hey, guys. Well, good morning. Hey, Kate. Hey, guys. All right, Mims, will you help me today? Can you help Mims? Can you help me today? You don't want to help me? All right, Kate, will you help me? I need somebody. You want to help me? Okay, good. Can you sit right here? All right, perfect. Well, so y'all remember last week, last week was Easter, right? Right? And so I'm going to pick you up, okay? I'm going to let you slide right beside. There we go. So at Easter, she did. They are pretty. I like them. And so one of the things that we do after Easter, sometimes is we look at parts of the Bible after the resurrection of Jesus. And tell me your name. Say again. Baker, okay, good. I'm going to borrow your hand. We're going, to, we're going to pretend that Baker is Jesus. You don't mind being Jesus this morning, do you? You do mind? Okay, well, I think you'd be a great Jesus. How about that? And if Baker, or if Jesus was here, he might have, or he might have a Band-Aid right here, right? And then he might have a Band-Aid over here, right? He, he would. He would, he, he would, he would, I promise you, Mimsy. He would have a Band-Aid over here. Let's put it on your wrist right here. And guess where else he might have a Band-Aid? You want to you wanna guess? Where? His head? Well, he might. He had a crown of thorns on, so he'd probably have a bunch of Band-Aids on his head. But guess he would also have them on his ankles. Can you put this on your ankle? Yep, on your ankle. He would have a Band-Aid right here, right? On the ankle. He might have to have two Band-Aids on his ankle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any Band-Aids on me, big guy. I just have socks today. So we would have a Band-Aid on this ankle. Yep. All right. So you knew what was coming, didn't you? He'd have a Band-Aid here. Guess where? He would have a big Band-Aid. You know where the big Band-Aid would go? You don't know? How about on his side? Yeah, that's exactly right. So can I get you to stand up for a second? You mind standing up for a second? And he would have a Band-Aid. Lift your arm up. Just one. He would have a Band-Aid on his side, right? He would have all kind of Band-Aids on him. And the disciples, one of the things that the disciples wanted to see when they saw Jesus after the resurrection was to see the scars. And he had a scar here on his wrist. And he had a scar here on his wrist because when he was crucified, they, they nailed him, they nailed his hands. They also nailed his feet. So he'd have a scar on, on his ankle. And then there was one guy that actually pierced his side with the sword. So he definitely would have a, he would have a, a, a Band-Aid over here. And, but the reason why that's important is because they wanted to touch those places to make sure that it was really Jesus. So if Baker was Jesus... You could go like this, you like that. You could go like this, and you could show them your scars, show them your ankles. Can you show them your ankles? Maybe. How about stick your right foot out? There you go. You could show them your ankle, or you could show them the size. And if you didn't think that Baker was Jesus, you could come and touch those areas, and then you would know. But you didn't know that, did you? Did you know it? You did? How about you, Kate? Did you know it? You didn't know it? Okay, but now you do. So if you were to see Jesus after the resurrection, he would probably have some really big Band-Aids on him. How about that, huh? Who, do what now? God sits in a chair. God sits in a chair? He does sometimes, I bet. You think he sits in a chair like the one I got over here? Probably not. His chair is probably big, isn't it? Maybe. Well, let's... It's a huge chair. All right, good deal. Well, I tell you what, we're going to say a prayer. Can you do that with me? Can I get you to close your eyes? All right, can you, can you bow your heads? Oh, God, we give thanks that what you are is what we call a wounded healer. Um, what the, the Old Testament tells us is that by your stripes we are healed. 
and for that we are grateful. And we think about you, particularly in a post uh, after death and resurrection, what we see is that, uh, that you did all that for us, and for that we are grateful. Bless these who sit with me, watch over them, keep them safe, O oh God. Bless their families, we pray in the name of Christ. Amen.